Hi everyone, it's uh, me and Catherine uh, uh, on behalf of our whole family uh, just sharing an update with you all about our mission base and the dream, the vision we put out last year. Appreciate we haven't had any contact with you since last summer. So we just want to share where you're at and some exciting news as well uh, that's come out of nowhere really. So where have we been at? So backtrack a little bit. When we came here to Highworth 10 years ago, nearly in March, we came via Mozambique um, and God had taken, taken us there to in, enlarge and grow us. And really we came from this mission base in Mozambique where so much was going on and God was doing so much here to Highworth, back to England. He sent us as missionaries here. And that's really what we felt in our hearts that we weren't coming here for a job or um, employment to some just somewhere nice to live although it turned out to be very nice here um, we felt that God was sending us back to England as missionaries and so in living in that way we've really well I especially have since we came here to Highworth been always looking around Highworth for uh, the right place to be what we want to call a mission base a place where from which we kind of uh, a discipleship is happening, community is happening, church, family, fellowship is happening. We go out from that place and we come back to that place and, and a base really for a hub for us to um, do the mission and the calling that we've felt that God has called us to and our family to. Um, and so a couple of years ago now, two years ago exactly, probably yep. to the day, we were in yeah, Senegal having the opportunity to visit another mission base, an Irish mission base in uh, near Dakar in Senegal and it's a wonderful couple Claudia and Miriam which we may have told some of you about and it was one day as we were sat there on their base in uh, the building that they had constructed in the bit of land that they'd been able to buy with this big wall around the land that I really visually saw this is a mission base this is what we need where we are more than ever before we need a mission base um, and so really since then two years ago we've been really praying and kind of intentionally um, asking God for this and what does it look like and along the way this is what you might have heard some of the story we've found a particular place that we felt this could be the place and we've been praying about that house stood outside it many times praying other people friends some of you will have stood there with us praying and asking God and we've put out some videos like this just saying we feel like like we're on the edge of something in fact in the summer so that's a year and a half of praying we felt that maybe the door was opening and the people were saying perhaps you could rent it from us and so we're saying okay god are you making the way for this to happen yeah. and then that kind of didn't happen and the house got sold to somebody else and just that door didn't open um, and so really in august september we were nearly suitcases packed ready to move in we thought uh, to our mission base and it didn't happen it was like the tide went out um and in that time since then, since the summer, we've just been in a place of waiting. Okay, God, what are you doing? We really trust you in the words you've given us in the last couple of years that have confirmed this dream and vision is from you um, and not just made up by ourselves. Um, what are you doing, God? And along the way, we've really felt him clearly say, stand still and see what I will do, how I'll fight for you and, and what I'm going to do in this situation. Um, and just a real sense of when God's when God moves, it's going to be a bit of a suddenly. Um, but before the suddenly, there's a lot of waiting. And so we've been in a lot of waiting until... Yeah, and, and also a bit of brokenness, really, mm. around that. Because, you know, the place where we were praying over and over and over and over, you start to see yourself there, you, you, your, your dreams take shape there. So we felt a little bit lost within it all, and where are you, God? And it seemed like all the doors were opening, and it didn't. And I think it's really important to underline, like with the couple Claudia and Miriam at their mission base in Senegal, that's where they're doing a bit of what they're doing, what they're called to. But then they go out from that mission base and engage with lots of other people, other projects, other Christians, other churches, to, to do uh, mission together and to join up. So nothing of what we're talking about is some sort of, here's HCC's mission. This is our bit. This is how I can lead best you know, within HCC and love and disciple people. So we we're at a place, so where are we now? Two Wednesdays ago, um, I was sat reading the Bible and my mind wandered a little bit. I don't know if that happens to you. And I was just thinking about what Catherine's just talking about, about you know, how much prayer and stuff and dreams we put into this place and, 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 and how we felt as well, I think, from when we launched our book in July 2020, we felt right on that moment we were on the edge of something. We were on the edge of the next bit of God. 
yeah? And we've been there before, so we know what that feels like, and we had prophetic words to confirm that, and then we've just been on that edge for months. Uh, and that's been really quite hard. And I was sat in bed, and I was thinking about it, and, you know, house prices are skyrocketing, we have no money, and um, no nothing to sell, we haven't got any power. And I just said, God, this is impossible. I actually spoke out, I didn't mean to, but I said, God, this is impossible. And I felt then in that challenge place going, okay, do I rest on what I'm saying or do I believe God? And uh, a few weeks ago, we were at a conference, uh, Catherine and I with some other uh, friends from church, and um, a guy tapped us on the shoulder. He sat behind us at the end of one of the sessions and just said, I- I've got a word for you, and I uh, recorded it. And so I-, I was sat in bed, felt like this is just impossible, what's the point? Um, and uh, I played this prophetic word. And the, the guy said to us, he said, you've had a significant disappointment happen recently in your lives. But God is going to uh, take that away by giving you something new. And it's something really big. And as we then prayed and chatted about, we really felt this was about the mission base. And that was an exciting word to get. But you have no idea when or what, or whatever. So I just listened to this um, uh, uh, prophetic word. Um, didn't feel particularly emotions or like, yeah, I'm in faith. But I just said, okay, God, I'll just trust in you. I left the house then to go and meet a guy who'd contacted me from the community. I'd had a phone call the week before from someone to say, can I meet up with you? I've got your number through our Link magazine, which is our community magazine. And I'd, and I'd just like to have a little walk and there's something I want to share with you. I um, didn't know the person at all. And um, because of the nature of our sort of community, we're quite close near and a nice little market town. This sort of thing happens to me occasionally. Last November, someone contacted me because they wanted to show me their oil paintings. So I, I wander out, meet up with this guy, and we go for a little walk. And we have a bit of chit chat, um, you know, finding out a bit about each other. Uh, and then I said to him, So, what did you want to talk to me about? And at that point, I'm like, This could be anything. This could be to do with climate change, it could be to do with a local politics issue. I have no clue what this is about, but no expectations. And this guy said, well, actually, and he's not a Christian, he said, I, I, I don't want to uh, talk to you about something. I want to show you something. And at that point, he stops and he turns and says, this is my house. And um, I've heard you want to have a hub for the community. And I wonder if you're the right person to have this. And we then had a brief chat about actually his desire to sell it to us at a very good price. Um, and wanting us to have it. And like literally we talk for about 10, 12 minutes and I walk away like, oh my gosh, I don't know what's just happened there. This is nuts, you know? Uh, and uh, what's even crazier, because then I met up last week with him and since then we've um, uh, been around the house a few times. Catherine's going to fill you in on a bit more of that. But as we chatted, I'm like, why is he talking to me? Yeah, you know, um, what, what, what's all that about? And this guy's really after legacy. He's born in Harworth, has lived in Harworth his whole life. And he really wants to see something bless this community. And he knows, he said, I know all about you. <laughs> so he's like kept his eyes and ears open and read stuff over the years. Um, he knows some people in the church um, and different things he's done. And, and has come to this place where crazily, the, the most ridiculous one is he'd, had this idea that he wanted the legacy of his home. It's a big place. It's got seven or eight bedrooms. Um, he just lives on his own. Um, he wants the legacy of that, as he go and lives, goes and lives in Swindon, to be for the community. So he'd contacted our local MP to say, is this something you could use? And he showed me the letter because he said, you must read this. And, and in the letter, our local MP says, well, thanks for this, but this isn't really something that would fit us. You want to talk to some people from the Bridge Centre. They're amazing over there. That's where we're just sat in right now. This is our hub for the community. This is our mission base together as HCC. We do so much in for our community. So it's just been this ridiculous thing that suddenly out of nowhere, with no power, with nothing, this place that we see could really work has landed in our laps. Mm. Tell us a bit so, what it's like. Yeah, it's right in the centre of Highworth, which is wonderful because we weren't ever looking for somewhere sort of out in the countryside we wanted somewhere that was a, a central place in the heart of our community that people can can find us and connect with and um, it's got as Matt said seven or eight bedrooms it's got various reception spaces and rooms it's a very old building um, 
So on the plus side, it seems like, wow, yes, amazing, ideal. Um, on the other side, it needs everything doing to it, like not just a lick of paint, like serious uh, work needs to happen on the house, which is completely outside of our realm of knowledge, understanding, previous well, it's, experience, it's great to list it and there's structural things that need yeah. to go on. It's ridiculous mm. on that front. Um, uh, yeah. Every single room needs complete overhaul. Yeah, and we weren't looking for that, were we? No. <laughs> we weren't like thinking, a nice, uh, let's have a project. Brand new place, Lord, <laughs> would have been really good, to be honest. Um, and I think that's part of the, the, the challenge that we're in, and that's why we're doing this video. We wanted to let all of you know, friends, family, uh, we value, we want to share what God's doing in our lives, but just sharing that raw stuff. Yeah. That on the one hand, we've got this crazy experience, which is a ridiculous story, isn't it? Of like how we've been praying and praying for a mission base, nothing's working out, and some guy we don't know says, what about this? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What about this? And it's perfect. And yet, everything <laughs> is wrong with it. I mean, we don't know how many thousands it will cost to get the stuff fixed and whether we can do the stuff we want to because of the grade two status. There's this bit in uh, Matthew chapter 17 where the disciples are on the Mount of Transfiguration and they have this wonderful moment. Jesus and Elijah and Moses appear and it's like, ah, yeah. And, and when you have those moments, don't you, when you know God is real, that he's in charge, that he sits on the throne in the universe and anything's possible. But then immediately after that, they came down the mountain into absolute mess and turmoil and struggle. And uh, a guy, a father had brought his son who was demon possessed. The disciples couldn't cast it out. Everyone's going nuts. The kids all manifesting. It's awful. It's the horror and the, the discouragement and the reality of our world. And that's where we find ourselves. And that's what we're asking today for your prayers. Yeah. We're trying to go, okay, God, here's this thing. But in the realities of our world, and, and please, faith is those two realities come together. Faith is not all heavenly minded, all promises of God. Oh, it's all going to be wonderful. Faith is as Abraham did. And it talks about it in Romans. He considered his body as good as dead. Yeah, it was impossible. We can't do this, you know. And I'm looking at this thing going, as many of you probably know, my health hasn't been great. I'm just, life's enough. Around it, or I'm struggling to do life, actually. Not then have all this. You know, this is way beyond me. And yet at the same time, that if this is what God's doing, mm -hmm. then it's not my job to second guess mm -hmm. or fear or any of those things. It's our job to trust and let him open the doors and roll it out. So if you are local to Highworth, can we ask for your discretion? Um, uh, please come and talk to us about it. But don't sort of, the issue at the moment isn't where is it? Can we have a look and all of that stuff? Literally, we're asking, will you pray? Yeah. Will you stand with us and to yeah. pray for that real sure confirmation in the next coming few weeks to really know, okay, have we got the faith? And is this, you know, something that God definitely is opening up? And we're going to step through, even though there might be a lot of sacrifice and pain and challenge and difficulty within it. Or, and these things can be strange, is it somewhere we go, okay, God, thank you, but we let go of, you know, because we're, our faith is not in a building, our faith is not in our finance, our faith is in Jesus Christ. So that's what we're asking uh, from you today. Will you stand with us and will you pray? God bless you. Oh,